early morning and we're off. Chris, are you ready? Ready. Jana, how are you feeling? Very good. So we're off to Alexandria. Not sure why we're very excited about Alexandria, but we are. We're gonna spend the day there and then come back home again tonight. Should be fun. We are traveling north to the coastal city of Alexandria. This is a day trip, so it will be jam-packed with things to do and places to see. Alexander the Great founded the city in 332 BC after the start of his Persian campaign. It was to be the capital of his new Egyptian dominion and a naval base that would control the Mediterranean. The closer we got to Alexandria, the more we were surrounded by construction sites. Like in many parts of Egypt, we can see a lot of growth and expansion, creating modernizing space for more prosperity and people. Our first stop is the catacombs of Komil Shakafa. We got to Alexandria and our first stop is here at the catacombs in Alexandria and uh, not sure what to expect here but security is very high. Nice. Hey. The catacombs of Kom Il Shakafa means Mount of Shards and is considered one of the seven wonders of the Middle Ages. Now the reason it's called Mount of Shards was because this area used to contain piles of shattered pottery, as our tour guide explained before we entered the subterranean structures. what I expected it's the atmosphere and the build and this was carved out wasn't it yeah carved yeah. into the rock carved into the rocks and you see down there all the artifacts on the walls after it was carved out oh that looks nice let's go down there The necropolis consists of a series of Alexandrian tombs. Due to the time period, many of the features of the catacombs merge Roman, Greek and Egyptian culture points. Some statues are Egyptian in style, yet bear Roman clothing and hairstyles. Chris? It feels deadly in here. Oh, that's nice. They literally carved out 
all these hallways inside solid stone and then they brought all their dead bodies in here. Catacombs, meaning underground tunnels, had a design that was very similar to the Christian catacombs of Rome. The Alexandrian catacombs was most likely a private tomb, later converted to a public cemetery and it consists of three levels cut into the bedrock. In this structure you will find staircases, a rotunda, a banquet hall and the burial chambers. You can see it looks like there's a face or something still left. I think if it wasn't for the stairs going up, I'd get lost in here. Yeah, humongous areas in here. So if I stay standing here, do you think that they're going to be mad at me? No. Don't, I'll push. don't, don't touch me. <laughs> Get out of here. Are you enjoying this, Amy? Yes, very much. Where are we? We're in the catacombs of a name that I can't pronounce in Egypt. In Alexandria? Yes. And it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. <laughs> the catacombs. <laughs> So if I've done catacombs underground, does that mean I'm a real adventurer now? Lots of people in here. Almost done. Such a shame. Awesome spot. Love this. So what do you think about that? Super cool. It's like being in a movie. <laughs> I know which one, a Jack Heartland. Oh yeah, would you come back here again? I want to see some more mummies. Mo Not more mummies, but I want to see mummies. He Next wants time. his mummy. <laughs> <laughs> Across the street from the catacombs, we made ourselves comfortable at a street cafe to have something special to drink. We decided to come and have a mud coffee at this uh, small little cafe next to the road. And uh, everybody is enjoying it, I would say. Pretty awesome. Very authentic. So this is the way coffee was meant to be enjoyed. Join us again next time as we continue our journey through Alexandria.